Well, the best way to wake up in the morning, this is a camp shower. That's cold. Beautiful. Just run and jump. Come on. Just dive. Go, go, go. Oh, I'll splash it in. No, no. <laughs> you can do it. You can do it. Go. go. <laughs> just dive. Do it, mate. Oh, just go for it. <laughs> dive. Come on. Oh. Oh. <laughs> That was worth filming. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Gotta say, it's a pretty awesome beach camp set up here. One of my favourites on Fraser Island, the Sandy Cape. I love it. Good. Dolphins. We had dolphins swimming out the front here. Yeah. It was unreal. They were just right here. We were swimming with them. Hopped on the back of one. <laughs> he pulled me along. <laughs> And then a mermaid came along. <laughs> a mermaid, that's right. And blew kisses at me. <laughs> this is where we're all camped. And our only way out is straight down there. High tide. We're not going anywhere for a while until the high, high tide starts going back. And we can drive around the front here, but still a few hours away, so we might as well just relax a bit, enjoy a cook up, a bit of bacon and egg for breakfast, and hopefully the tide has gone out enough for us to be able to then drive off and we'll head off up to the lighthouse. It is blast off out here, it is absolutely beautiful. Perfect. We kind of don't want to leave, but we still have so much we want to see, so we better get moving. All right, time to get this show on the way. Day three on Fraser Island. I move my feet to reach that song where our emotions blur into different shapes and forms. Well, it's about a 1.2 kilometer walk to the lighthouse from the car park down at the beach. Working off the bacon and eggs this morning. Be waiting for a half an hour for you guys. Yeah, mate, I can't wait to one day be as fit as you, man. <laughs> it's my dream. Well, it was a bit of a hike up the hill, but um, it's pretty amazing the view up here, and it is a pearl a day, so the water is the most amazing colour. The lighthouse seems pretty well kept but there kind of wasn't a lot. There's just like one sign that tells you a little bit about the history. Okay, time to head back to the car. We need to catch the tide. Get the tide through Nagala Rocks, negotiate that again and head to Champagne Pools. Okay guys, that was Sandy Cape. How would you rate that out of 10 for a camp air at place? I would say nine and a half. Yeah, but the only thing for me, if those trees, dead trees were gone and it was just all beached then, that would be 
been just amazing but yeah, absolutely love it up this end it won't be the last time i come back up uh, the sandy cape yeah i think we'll come back it's definitely a beautiful spot <laughs> Here goes the Gala Rot. Yeah, coming through, she's a bit bumpy there. Holy dolly. On the corner now. Backwards, no problem at all. Yeah, yeah thanks for that. Yeah, through, no worries. Holy dolly, that was unbelievable. Bouncy, bouncy, that road has been so cut up, that track by four drivers. Yeah, that was great fun. Yeah, that. that was great fun. <laughs> I nearly did the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> when I Went on the wrong rocks here, oh, far right. out. That would have been. the drop? Yeah. <laughs> it would have been. Like, <laughs> no! I, I actually had uh, to slam on the anchors uh, and stop uh, and reverse uh, back up. Far out. That was funny because I saw that and gone, oh, that is where you're yeah. following your tracks. Yeah, I know. Wow, that was just fun. <laughs> Such fun. <laughs> Mate, did I All get right. scared? Well guys, we uh, negotiated Nagala Rocks for the second time. How do you reckon that all went? Uh, besides almost uh, nose diving up a cliff, <laughs> fantastic. <laughs> uh, those, you really want to try and test out that Colorado, don't you mate? I'm pretty happy that I uh, actually stopped in the worst part, backed up and then drove out of it without any help. So uh, now we're heading to Waddy Point and then Champagne Falls for a swim. See, I'm a dreamer Oh, for love in the soil of the pain I'm a believer But you may be far away But you think you're the same oh. I close my eyes and I picture us together I may be weighing right now, or I may not be. Yellow champagne. Champagne 
Now we're heading over to the west coast side of Fraser Island, where we can show you the other way to enjoy your stay on this beautiful island at the Kingfisher Bay Resort, the perfect place to stay and unwind on island time. Well, it seems to play the same old piece to play along Cause the audience never listened to her mermaid song That temptation was a sunny eye Where all the lips is dead Don't use his shadows to make your bed So we checked into our two-bedroom bungalow for a few nights from here, we'll be able to travel and explore Lake Mackenzie and Central Station. But now it's time just to relax and enjoy the resort's many facilities and beautiful restaurants. First stop, the spa and pool. That's what she's wearing over her face. singing take me back to me. That was a nice relaxing swim in the pool in the hot tub. Back to the room and ready for a sunset down on the beach. So we showed you the camping on Fraser Island and uh, now we're showing you the resort. It's definitely something nice about staying at the resort. You know, you've got a proper shower, proper bed. It doesn't mean you can't still get out and see what beautiful things Fraser Island has to offer. You can hop on the um, Sea Link Ferry and it takes you from Harvey Bay straight here to Kingfisher Resort and then just go off for day tours from, from here, from uh, Kingfisher Bay. But if I had my choice, I still love camping, love being out in the bush, hands down. It's, it's nice to finish off a camping trip down here at the resort, relaxing around the pool, but then watch the sunset like this. Very nice. Central Station, the little creek walk when you get here is absolutely beautiful to walk through. You know, all these palms and huge carry trees and 
massive big gums it is just beautiful and so nice and cool down here if it's a really hot day you come down the bottom to the creek and it's this beautiful sandy clear bottom beautiful crystal clear water running through just beautiful drive to Central Station from Kingfisher Bay is, is really quite beautiful. The track's not too hard at all, but just around this area, it's a lot of forest. Amazing some of these trees, just they look amazing how big they are. You can see why back in the day they used this place as a logging area for where they used to take a lot of timber, a lot of trees. beautiful powdery sand it is yeah. for a fresh water you'd swear you're at the beach with this wouldn't you yeah absolutely in fact it's all sort of almost like what you'd see in western australia yeah looking for a place that they can call their own i don't see much to call it own i'm doing just fine if they need me i'll be underneath the farm You'd have to say Lake Mackenzie is probably one of the most beautiful freshwater lakes you'll find anywhere in the world. It's kind of like you're at the beach, but you don't have the salty water. So you've got nice fresh water, so you don't feel sticky when you get out. It's yeah, great. just beautiful, fresh, clean water. You can drink it. And some of the water on this on the island is uh, some of the best drinking water because it's all a sand island and it's fully filtered, so it's actually really good. You know. Did you just wee just there? <laughs> that was warm. <laughs> uh, that alerted me. <laughs> Should have asked. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're going to spend the rest of the day now with it's our last day on Fraser and what a place just to relax for the day. So tomorrow we have to head back to Harvey Bay. Yeah, but we're going to catch up with some friends in Harvey Bay so we're pretty, pretty excited about that. Yeah, nice to see, see some old mates and that we haven't seen for a while. With the green leaves or the palm trees if you want me you can find me with the warm breeze and no worries if you need me you know i'll be with the green leaves of the palm trees yeah. a local australian goanna they swing their tail back as warning and then they can whip you with it um, but mildly venomous it's like uh, their saliva so you can get infected if you're bitten by one. This guy's uh, keeps coming over. We've got food. We're in the area where there's um, 
no, you're there to eat your food so you don't attract dingoes. But in these areas, have goannas and other animals. Okay, well, our Fraser Island adventure coming to an end very quickly. Um, what an awesome time, eh? Yeah, absolutely. Fabulous place. If you ever get a chance, come. Sorry. Much <laughs> <laughs> fly landed in my head. And there's plenty of them here. <laughs> yeah, we've we've uh, made a small dent in the population. <laughs> tried to. It was about 600. But <laughs> yeah. Now we're going to finish off our adventure here at Kingfisher Bay and going in and enjoy a beautiful meal here. Get in my belly. <laughs> <laughs> What a way to finish off our Fraser Island adventure. Fantastic, we've had a real fair nickum adventure on this trip. It's been awesome having it, doing this trip with you guys. Thanks for having us. Yeah, it was yeah, great, really fantastic. Awesome. So we'll see you guys on our next fair nickum adventure. Where? <laughs> Where are you going next? Wow, good question, I don't so, know. Let's try, um, let's try another island. Morton, let's do Morton Island. Ooh, Morton Island. We've heard good things about Morton. Yeah, let's yeah, try Morton Island. Yeah, we haven't been there, so let's do it. We've always wanted to try, yeah. Done, lock it in. Morton Island it is. We're going to see you guys next in Morton Island. See you there. See you then.